I am Naga Gola. I work as a software um, test lead in New Zealand Qualifications Authority in Wellington. Um, been part of Hope Centre for the last eight plus years. Uh, brought up in a, a traditional Hindu uh, religious background uh, where idol worship is uh, very heavy and uh, um, sacrificial, ceremon uh, sacrificial ceremonies and uh, following religious uh, rituals is quite common and pretty much, um, you know, almost every day, yeah. So that's my background when I'm growing up. I guess you were brought up in a Hindu family, so how, how did you come to the Lord? Um, it's, it's pretty simple. And um, <laughs> I, I started uh, um, from high school, I started questioning my father, like, you know, why do I need to do idol worship? Like, you know, why I need to follow certain rituals, like, uh, which I was constantly told off by my father. Um, then uh, um, in my high school, um, a little shy girl, like she was so curious uh, about Jesus and, and, and she started explaining me like, oh, Jesus is my friend, is my helper. Like that's something different to um, Hindu gods. Like, you know, you don't, it's like more like a one-way traffic. Like you, you go and worship, there's nothing that comes back from the idols or uh, any other Hindu gods. Like that, that was surprising and interesting for me. I said like, okay, let's, uh, let's keep talking and uh, we continued talking for the next couple of years and uh, she moved on to college, I moved to college and uh, she um, was encouraging me like um, through letters and like, you know, read the Bible, go to church and uh, whenever she is back in our town, um, she was inviting like to special events like Christmas or Easter. Um, so that's how I got to know uh, about Jesus, and um, I think after uh, after uni, um, we moved to I mean I moved to uh, Chennai for my work, and it is 2010. Uh, I think after recession, like you know, 2008 is pretty bad, and uh, 2009, uh, you know, uh, job is fine, but it's not much salary and other things. Um, so I I like I was. Um, I mean, by the way, this uh, uh, lady from the high school is Kathy, and uh, she finished her. Uh, Where are you, Kathy? You here? Um, she finished her med school, and uh, she came to Chennai, and we both working in the same city, and she invited me to the church, so I went there, and she started helping me with the read the, uh, reading the Bible, and I said like, okay, fine, I'll be like a nice Sunday Christian, come there, be with you for that Sunday, and just go back to what I was doing regularly. And it was nice uh, until uh, suddenly I, I got a promise from the Word of God, Isaiah 61.7. Um, it was about like, you know, instead of shame, I'll give you a double portion of blessing. Oh, wow, that looks pretty, you know, interesting and so good. Uh, given that situation I was in, um, at the start of the year, it was nowhere close to double portion of blessing. Um, so I, I decided, okay, fine, let's pack that blessing aside and continue with what I can do. Uh, so I was trying to switch my jobs, and which is pretty hard during that time. And I've been trying for six months. I think by the middle of the year, I got into a job and they offered me more than double the salary I was getting at the start of the year. And that was double the blessing, like, oh, this is something interesting about Jesus, like, okay. Um, let me uh, be more focused on him, and we started going. I mean, I started going reading the Bible regularly, and 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 the word coming alive is something that I have experienced uh, compared to my uh, Hindu background, which is uh, you know pretty interesting and surprising for me. And 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 then um, I was able to provide for my sister's wedding, and uh, uh, in that year, and then. Um, um, myself and uh, Kathy's parents, we, we, we discussed and uh, like they, fi they finally happily agreed, like you know, both my parents and uh, uh, Kathy's parents, uh, not very happy my, from my side, but yeah, um, they agreed for the, uh, the marriage and we got engaged and uh, we were uh, two by the end of that year. So that's an again double blessing in our lives. Yeah. Um, and and uh, um, so that's uh, uh, that one particular aspect of like reading I'm getting a promise from God, and that particular promise coming alive is totally, uh, you know, 
a great experience for me and I decided to follow Jesus and publicly accept him and I was baptized in the same year. So 2010 is uh, pretty significant for me uh, in my life uh, and walk with Jesus here. Yeah. Wow, that's so, amazing. How did your family uh, react to you uh, being water baptized and ha having been brought up as a Hindu and then also wanting to marry a Christian? Was that a big deal for them? Oh, it is a big deal, absolutely. And, and I didn't understand like, you know, instead of shame, a double blessing, I was like, uh, I have experienced quite a bit of shame at the initial uh, days uh, because uh, one thing I want to do is um, my uh, grandfather from my father's side and my um, grandmother, so both of them follow two different gods. Like, you know, uh, my grandmother followed Jesus, whereas my grandfather is a pure Hindu. And there is always a kind of uh, uh, discussion, disagreements in the family. I definitely don't want to do that, so I want to uh, start my family as a, uh, as a family who believes in one God. Um, so I was very clear about uh, what I'm going to do uh, with the baptism and marrying uh, Kathy and Christian wedding too. So that's a bit of a shock for them. So I took, uh, you know, a few months, but they managed to okay for that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Really good. Um, and how have you... Um uh, and is there anything that you've discovered looking in from now that you're on the inside that you weren't expecting before? I was totally not expecting a lot of things. Uh, even after coming to uh, you know, New Zealand, like the first Sunday uh, I came to this church and it was totally different. I was totally blown out by <laughs> uh, how the church is because I was quite shy. I just want to sit at the back of the church, uh, leave the church as soon as the service is done. Don't want to step into cafe as well. <laughs> and, um, but one significant thing happened on the first Sunday, like Seth uh, spoke to um, us, like, you know, he don't know about us and everything, but he gave us a promise, like, you know, Haggai uh, 2.9, from this day onwards, uh, I will bless you. So that's a significant promise in our lives. Mm -hmm. and, and, and constantly we remember that promise, and that's really helpful. And... and and always like you know, that journey with the Holy Spirit and like, you know, uh, the way we encounter and we, 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 uh, we see the promises and word of God coming alive, alive in our lives, in our work, uh, in our day-to-day -day activities. That's amazing. I've cool. never seen anything like that before. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Isn't it great that the, the shy girl who spoke to you at school, you would have never realized that you were going to marry her later in life. Absolutely. Yeah, we yeah. want to honor Kathy. God bless you, Kathy, for the impact that you've had. Thanks, Naga.